Hello there crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to share with you how I created six quick and easy cards using the supplies you see in front of me along with the inspiration for March's oh so inspired collaboration. I hope that you'll stick around and find out what I made, how I was inspired, and how I made it. As the intro said, it is time for another round of the Oh So Inspired collaboration. Each month here on YouTube, the OSI team takes one inspiration piece and creates anything that they would like that is based upon that creation. You will notice as you hop around to all of the collaborators who everybody is listed below, so go check them out, but you will notice that we all are probably doing something completely different. That is what is so fun about the collaboration, is just seeing how things inspire other people. So here is a look at this month's inspiration piece. It was a card created by Mary Wessling. Her blog post is listed in the description box below, so make sure you go check her out. And for my project this month, I'm going to use the products you see in front of me to create six cards. They're going to be quick, they're going to be easy, and it's going to be something that you can recreate easily and build your stash of cards up if that's something that you're interested in. Like in the previous couple months, if you would like to play along, whether it is to be considered for the team or just for fun, you will want to first visit the video that I link below about how to join us. I'll also pop that video in the upper right hand corner now. But if you go check that out and you want to play along, the hashtag for this month is hashtag I was OSI Mar 2019. I cannot wait to see what you create. So one thing that I like to do when I find a layout or a card that I like, I like to figure out how I can mass produce it. I like building up my card stash. I used to have an online magazine called Sheetload of Cards where that is exactly what we did each month. I gave you cutting guides and samples, how you could create lots of cards quickly. So what I did is I came up with a layout that I liked that incorporated this month's idea, the inlaid butterfly die cut, and I figured out how many sheets of paper it would take and the cutting guides to get six cards. So for the cards, I chose two pattern papers from the Stampin' Up! Celebration paper. This is the Botanical Butterfly DSP. I thought that the butterflies in the paper went well with this month's theme. So I have two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper. For my card bases, I got out three pieces of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I need one piece of cardstock and it will be the bigger square in the background. I got out a purple and it will be the mat for this white cardstock. And then for my butterfly die cuts, to kind of keep with the paper, how the outline of the butterflies are black, I got out just a piece of black cardstock to use for that. For tools, I chose one of my butterfly dies. This is a, from a Spellbinder set. I got out a Cuddlebug Dots embossing folder, and then one of my favorite tools, my Stampin' Up! Triple Banner Punch. The first thing that I like to do when I am making cards is try to do all of the cutting at once. So with my cutting guides, I am going to cut my pattern paper first and I'm going to cut the piece number one so it yields six pieces that are four by five and a quarter. For the second piece of pattern paper, I'm going to be cutting it into six pieces that are four inches wide by two inches tall. And then before I place it on the card, I will put a fishtail in the end. Mm -hmm. 
These three pieces of cardstock are my card bases. I'm going to cut these for a top fold card. So I'm going to cut it in half at four and a quarter inches wide. For the white cardstock, I am going to be cutting this into two and a half inch squares. So I will just cut until I get six. My other piece of purple cardstock will be cut into six pieces that are two and three quarters inches square. And again, I will just cut until I yield six. And finally, I'm going to cut my black cardstock down to more manageable pieces to run through my die cutter. So I'm just going to cut a couple strips that are two and a half inches wide. The next thing I want to do is all of the punching and die cutting. In the original sketch, I had a sentiment down here on the white block, but because my smallest detail butterfly takes up quite a bit of the square, I am not gonna stamp a sentiment on this one. I may later add a little fishtail sentiment that's stamped on white cardstock, but for now, I'm gonna leave mine just sentiment free. The first thing I'm going to do is the punching of my fishtail pieces and this Stampin' Up! punch puts fishtail ends in one inch, one and a half inch, and two inch strips. I will link this below if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you want to purchase this. I'll link you to my friend who I got this through. The next thing I'm going to do is die cut my butterfly from each of the white pieces of cardstock. I will be using my cuddle bug to temporarily hold my butterfly in place for die cutting. I'm going to use this blue scotch tape and it is just slightly tacky so it comes up real nicely once the die cutting is done. And now I will just die cut all six of my butterflies. It doesn't really matter if they're the same place on each of the white pieces because these cards are not going to go to the same person. For my card, I am actually going to be using a black die cut butterfly. I'm going to be using the negative of this on there. So I am going to save these white butterflies in case I would like to use them for something later. I will continue cutting these butterflies and I'll see you in just a little bit. I have all six of my frames die cut. Now I'm going to cut six butterflies from the black cardstock. Now I will not need to use the removable tape to place the butterfly on here because placement doesn't matter. So here is that die cut out and then it will eventually go on the card and just be inlaid right inside the white piece. I will cut again six butterflies and be back in just a minute. I have my six black butterflies die cut and before I put my cuddle bug away, I will be using the dots embossing folder on each of the white squares. And the reason I'm doing this is I think it adds a little bit more texture and dimension to the plain white square, especially since I'm not going to be adding a sentiment to it. And you can see how it just adds just a little bit more to that piece of white cardstock.
The next step in my process is going to be getting the card bases ready. So I will be folding my card bases and then adhering the butterfly pattern paper just straight down to the front of each of these. I mentioned below that one thing I do like to do is create a sketch and figure out how I can easily reproduce that into a lot of cards. I will link my playlist below that I call sheet load of cards and that should have any of the videos I have made where I do similar things. So if you're also interested in that you can check that out. I will pop that playlist in the upper right hand corner as well. Now that I have all my card bases ready, I'm gonna go ahead and start building my focal point or my embellished piece, and I will be layering the rest of these pieces together. I will be adhering the white piece right onto the purple cardstock, and then this piece, the fishtail, will just get adhered to the back of this. I will actually be putting the black butterfly on the very last thing. I will probably do that after I have these parts already onto my card. So I'm going to go ahead now and start building these. Now you might notice that if you recreate this, that your banner sticks out more at the end, and that's because the punch I use, it does take some length off of the fishtail. So don't be surprised if it's a little longer. Now I will be using foam squares to place the fishtail tag onto the card front. I like the little lift that the foam will give it. And like I mentioned before, if later I wanted to add a sentiment, I could maybe put something down here at the bottom, just add an extra piece. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it like that. All of my focal points have been put on my card bases, so now it is time to go ahead and get my butterflies on there. To do this, I will be using glue lines, and they're made by glue dots. These are, I think they're an inch long, and they're just strips of glue. Because I don't need a full inch, I will be cutting each one in half. I'm only going to be adhering the body of the butterfly down to the card. That way I can kind of lift up the wings and give some more dimension. And now this will go right into the center of my die cut part. And now to finish the butterfly, I pulled out some light blue gems from my stash. There is some pastel blue here in some of the butterflies and the leaves. So I thought this would look nice in the center of the body. I'm going to cut off three from there. And there is one card completely finished. I'll go ahead and put the other five together. And now after using only two pieces of pattern paper and some cardstock, I have six lovely cards that are ready to have a sentiment added to them, a special note put on the inside, and sent out to a friend or family member for a special occasion. As always, if you enjoyed my video, I appreciate a thumbs up. Please stop by all of the other Oh So Inspired collaborators. Again, their links are in the description box below. We will be back on April 15th for another round of Oh So Inspired. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.